in this problem, we're attempting just a simple modification of a series that we discovered before by finding the Maclaurin series for the sine function. We're going to use that series to figure out a new one, the power series for sine x squared centered at 0. So we need a reminder real quick of what is that Maclaurin series for the sine function. So there it is. I always remember it easiest in expanded form. And I could show that in summation notation. It starts with a positive term, so that's a negative 1 to the n. So my first term is negative 1 to the 0, giving me a positive. And then I only want odd powers of x. So I'm going to say x to the 2n plus 1. So when I plug in n equals 0, I get x to the 1. Plug in n equals 1, I get x to the 3rd, and so on. So that's working correctly. And then that sequence of odd numbers is the same down here for the factorial portion in the denominator. So there's the original Maclaurin series for a sine function. Now I would just want to modify it a little bit and replace x with x squared. Multiplying the exponents, I get negative 1 to the n, x to the 4n plus 2 over 2n plus 1 factorial. And just as a final check on our work, I want to look at this in expanded form. So I plug in n equals 0, and it gives me x squared over 1 factorial, or just 1. I plug in n equals 1, and I get a minus sign on that term. And I get x to the 6th in the numerator, and 3 factorial in the denominator. I plug in n equals 2, and I get a positive term. And that's going to be an x to the 10th over 5 factorial. And if I go back to my expanded form for the sine function, I can see that all I've done there is replace x with x squared in every one of those terms, as it should be.